I'm going to create a campaign with auto follow-ups. I'll quickly set my recipients and my subject and my message. When creating a campaign with auto follow-up messages, you have a choice of how to create and set your actual auto follow-up content. For most users, these text boxes will suffice, and the default messages that GMAS provide will suffice too, although you're free to edit this text. If you want to get fancier though and add text styling or images or attachments to your auto follow-ups, then you can choose a template from the campaign dropdown. But how do we get a new message into this dropdown? With our new workflow, it's super easy. Just click the plus button and a new compose opens. We'll address the message to ourself, put in a subject by which to remember the template, and then we'll compose our content. Afterwards, we'll hit the GMAS button just to save the template into our account so that we can select it from the dropdown. For this message, I'll add an image to really catch the attention of my prospect. The subject line will never be seen by anyone on my prospect list since these messages will go out as part of the same conversation as the original campaign message. Now that the message is saved in my account, I come back to the original campaign, hit refresh, and choose the message from the dropdown. For stage two, I'll do something similar, except this follow-up message will contain a PDF. So again, I'll hit the plus button to launch a new compose window. I'll address it to myself, put in a subject just so I remember it. And I'm going to be a little bit obnoxious here with my message, and then I'm going to attach the PDF file. It's uploading, and it's done, and now I'm just going to save the message into my account. Now it's saved in my account. I'll refresh and select it. I can keep going and set up to eight stages like this. And when I'm done, I hit the main GMAS button to launch my campaign.